Now recognize Mr. Cooper, Congressman Cooper. Mr. DeJoy, here's what your so-called reforms have done to my district in 70 days. A lady named Elena Roser paid $5 on July 22nd to send a certified letter to the Nashville, Tennessee Social Security Office. The distance is 20 miles. The letter took 12 days to arrive. Just this morning, excellent reporting from Nashville's Channel 5 TV proves that Nashville's mail trucks are being forced to leave on schedule even when completely empty. Imagine it, 53-foot trucks forced to travel hundreds of miles completely empty due to your so-called reforms. Here are the truck records. That's not efficiency, that's insanity. For anyone thinking of voting absentee, the effect of your policies is to unilaterally move up Election Day from November 3rd to something like October 27th. And if you force more empty trucks on the highway, you will be able to single-handedly move up Election Day even earlier. According to NPR, already 550,000 primary ballots, absentee ballots, were rejected in just 30 states. And one of the main reasons was late delivery. How dare you disenfranchise so many voters when you told the Senate committee just last week that you had a sacred duty to protect election mail? You know that it's a felony for a Postal Service officer or employee to delay delivery of mail. A postal employee can be fined or imprisoned for up to five years for delaying the mail, but somehow you can delay all the mail and get away with it. They can be prosecuted, but you can't, even if your actions are a million times worse. Mr. DeJoy, do you have a duty to obey U.S. law like every other American? I do, sir. Well, previous postmasters general have been punished for much smaller conflicts of interest than yours. In 1997, the 70th Postmaster General Marvin Runyon from Tennessee had to pay $27,000 because of a $350,000 conflict of interest. If your $30 million conflict of interest, 100 times larger than Mr. Runyon's, were treated like your predecessors, you would have to pay a $2.7 million fine and probably be ousted from being Postmaster General. So, Mr. DeJoy, are you above the law that applies to other Postmasters General? Um, I, I don't agree with the premise. I'm full, in full compliance with all ethical requirements uh, that, that I need to have. And there's an OIG investigation, and I welcome the result of that report. Well, Mr. DeJoy, as a mega donor for the Trump campaign, you were picked along with Michael Cohen and Elliot Broiding, two men who have already pled guilty to felonies, to be the three deputy finance chairman of the Republican National Committee. Did you pay back several of your top executives for contributing to Trump's campaign by bonusing or rewarding them? That's an outrageous claim, sir, and I resent it. I'm just asking a question. The answer is no. So you did not bonus or reward any of your executives? No. no. Anyone that you solicited for a contribution to the Trump campaign? No, sir. Not in whole or in part? To, to be, uh, uh, actually, I, uh, during the Trump campaign, I wasn't even working at my company anymore. Well, we want to make sure that Campaign contributions well, are legal, so all your campaign I'm contributions fully aware are legal. Of what, I'm fully aware of legal campaign contributions. Well, what if you resent the assertion, sir? What well, are you accusing me of? Well, I'm asking a question. Do your mail delays fit Trump's campaign goal of hurting the post office, as stated in his tweets? I'm are not, your mail I'm delays not, implicit gonna, campaign I'm not contributions? These types of questions. I'm here. I'm here to represent the postal service. It has nothing to do with. All my actions have to do with improvement of the postal service. May this. Am I the only one in this room that understands that we have a ten billion dollar a year loss? Right. Am I the only will, one in this room will you that has give this at committee, the OIG report? Will you give this committee up? your communications with Mark Meadows, with Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, Go with ahead the and president? Do that. Mr. DeJoy, is your backup plan to be pardoned like Roger Stone? 
Oh, God. Pitiful. You have two seconds to answer the question. I have no comments on that. It's not I worth see my comment. time has expired. Gentlemen, not time worth the comment. Expired. 